ریلیٹڈ ابراہیم When the father Adar said, you know, get out from my sight. Vahjurni maliyya. Then when Ibrahim started going out from the home, he said, Salaamun alaik. Sastaghfiru laka rabbi. Innahu ka nabi hafiyya. I will ask Allah's forgiveness for you, O oh father. He is very kind to me. He will listen to me. So this was the promise. So he kept for asking for forgiveness. But it was also till a particular certain time. فَلَمَّا تَبَيَّنَ لَهُ أَنَّهُ عَدُوٌّ لِلَّهِ When it became absolutely clear to him that he is enemy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was hoping maybe that he is guided to the right path. He comes to Iman. تَبَرَّا مِنْهُ He disowned him. In Ibrahim al-Awwahul Halim, verily Ibrahim was a very tender-hearted person and a very forbearing person. مَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُدِلَّ قَوْمٌ بَعْدَ إِزْحَدَاهُمْ حَتَّى يُبَيِّنَ لَهُمْ مَا يَتَّقُونَ And it is not for Allah that he should declare somebody, some people have gone astray after he has given them the guidance. حَتَّى يُبَيِّنَ لَهُمْ مَا يَتَّقُونَ Until he makes it clear to him what they should avoid. Because this was not made clear up till now. That Mu'min cannot ask the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for mushrikeen. Whether they were parents. If someone of you have been asking, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will condone. But now it has been made clear. Inna Allah bi kulli shayin alim. Verily Allah knows everything. Inna Allah lahu mulku samawati wal lard yuhi wa yumeet. Verily, to Allah belongs the sovereignty of all the heavens and the earth. He gives life and He puts to death. Wa ma lakum min dun illahi min waliyyin wa la nasir. And for you, there is no protector, no helper besides Allah or against Allah. Dun can be translated in many ways. لَقَدْ تَعَبَ اللَّهُ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ وَالْمُحَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنْسَارِ أَلَّذِينَ تَبَعُوهُ فِي سَعَاتِ الْعُسْرَةِ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا قَادَ يَزِيغُ قُلُوبُ فَرِيقٍ مِّنْهُمْ ثُمَّ تَعَبَ عَلَيْهِمْ إِنَّهُ بِهِمْ رَعُوفُ الرَّحِيمِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has declared that he has turned with all his mercy and compassion to his messenger, to all the muhajireen and all the ansar who followed him. accompanied him in this in the difficult hour in the hardship hour of time of hardship this was jashul usra it is called hardship lack of rations length of the journey heat of the weather and you know enemy roman empire hardest test to which the companions of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam were put. But who followed? So they deserve all the mercy of Allah, all compassion of Allah. So it's a declaration. لَقَدْ لَا تَعَبَ اللَّهُ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ وَالْمُحَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنْسَارِ الَّذِينَ تَبَعُوا فِي سَعَاتِ الْعُسْرَةِ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا كَادَ يَزِيغُ قُلُوبُ فَرِيقِ مِنْهُمْ After that, the hearts of some of them were wavering. They were about to swerve. Because they were human beings. You know, Quran is very natural. Although they were human beings. A time comes, you know. 
even the strongest in faith you know he has some feeling but his faith now comes to his rescue and he is firm so although hearts of some were near to swarm summata baane but because they they remained firm allah subhanahu wa taala turned towards them with his mercy and compassion innahu bihim raufur rahim he is very gracious with them and merciful wa ala salasat alladhina khulifu now those three whose case was adjourned or you know deferred khulifu whose case was held in suspense hatta idha zaqat alayhim alard until when the whole earth bima rahubat despite all its vastness became narrow on them the prophet declared a social boycott for them nobody should talk to them these three not their wives even not their friends even now what happened you know this society is a very beautiful hadith must be learned the ways of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam what was the punishment what was the feelings of these people what was the attitude of the society as a whole so that gives us a very good representation of you know that social fabric that was there at madina at that time but i can't go into detail hatta idha zaqat alayhim al-ard bima rahabat wa zaqat alayhim anfusuhum even their own souls became shrunk upon them it appeared as if you know life has become absolutely harsh and death appears to be better than this life nobody is ready to talk to us even the closest friends for example hazrat kaab ibn malik asked one of his friends don't you know i am a sincere mu'min he replied allah wa rasuluhu alam and just turned his face allah and his messenger know better and he says when i went to the mosque of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam i said salam he didn't reply turned his face then i started praying and during the my prayer i used to see you know that the prophet is seeing towards me but when i is look towards him he turned his face away <laughs> so this was the psychological you know that he was not harsh he was kind but actually it was all for training for purification wa ala salasat alladhina khulifu hatta idha zaqat alayhim al-ard bima rahabat wa zaqat alayhim al-anfusuhum wa zannu an la malja min Allah illa ilayhi and they very well knew that there is no refuge from Allah except to go to him so mataba alayhim then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted their tawbah and turned towards them with mercy and forgiveness la yatubu so that yes they should also make full tawba in allah wa tawabur rahim meri liye allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is tawab and rahim ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu taqullaha wa kunu ma'as sadiqin o you who believe have taqwa of allah and keep the company of the truthful people this is again you know a hint if you remain an individual you know satan will have all the ease to attack you if you keep a good company of the truthful people this is the blessing of a social life so, you know you must get strength from people who are themselves strong in character ma kana li ahli al madinati wa man hawlahum min al arabi an yatakhallafu an rasulillah wa la yarghabu bi anfusihim an nafsi it was not befitting for the believers for those who are living in madina and also those who are who live around from the desert arab and yatakhallafu an rasulillah that they should stay behind allah's messenger nor should they have preferred their lives to his life they were not going and they were saying that the prophet is going but it mean they were preferring their lives to his life ولا يرغبوا بانفسهم عن نفسي ذلك بانهم لا يصيبهم ظما ولا نسب ولا مخبصه في سبيل الله this is because there afflicts them neither thirst nor toil nor hunger in the way of allah 
ولا يطاون موت ان يغيظوا به يغيظ الكفار ولا ينادون من عدو نيلا الا كتب لهم به عمل صالح نور نايدر دي ترند ان دي وي اوف الله which enrages the disbelievers nor gain they again from the enemy but a righteous deed is thereby written down for them surely in allah la yuzi wajr al mustaqim that is whatever they are doing it will be accounted it will go to their credit if they are you know going in the walking in the way of allah every step is being recorded in allah la yuzi wajr al mustaqim verily allah is not going to to destroy or you know that the the reward of these muhsinin go in vain wala yunfiquna nafaqatan saghiratan wala kabiratan nor do they spend anything whether small or big wala yaqtaruna wadiyan nor do they cross a valley illa kutiba lahum but this is being recorded all their good deeds are recorded liyajziyahum allah ahsana ma kanu ya'malun so that allah will reward them best and more better than they were doing 